after completing all of the sections regarding the basics of Chord Data, or if you just want to jump right into creating a complex application from start to finish, that includes Chord Data, of course, um, this is what we are going to create. It's called Borrowmatic. Um, you can select and uh, create borrow items so that you remember uh, to whom you have borrowed items and for how long you actually borrowed them. So this is how it looks like. You can sort the items on two different ways, either by date or by person. So we have borrowed the iPad to Tim Cook and we have borrowed a MacBook to Lisa Moore. And um, I click on that and I get the item description. I get an image of the borrow item. I get the um, time frame from when to when we have borrowed the item and an image of the person we borrowed that to. We can also add new items to our list. For example, let's say an Apple Pencil. We click on the dummy image. We select the Apple Pencil. Choose a time frame, let's say from today to the 16th. Press done, uh, then let's select a person, let's say Johnny Ive, give him the appropriate name. We could also select um, from our list of, of people that we've already saved with this auto completion um, field here at the bottom. Uh, just simply hide the keyboard again and let's type in Johnny Ive here. Let's save that, go back. And here we go, we have now three persons. We can also uh, sort that by date again and select um, the pencil again and see our bow item. So this is what we are going to create. You're going to use different advanced techniques like using uh, segways. We will uh, include iCloud with this application so that um, every item you create on one device will be synced to other devices of yours. Um, we will um, use auto layout to make this work on different screen sizes. So this is a great app to uh, put everything into practice that you've learned about core data.